hunter can't cook, won't cook. Now for a little bit of poetry. Will it be juicy or will it be rich? Is it going in the oven or into the ditch? Will the contestants be brilliant or simply drive me mad? That's the beauty of the show and I'm sure you're all so glad. So, let's all thank you ladies and gentlemen. Let's meet the first company one of play, can't cook, won't cook! Lovely, lovely. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Derek and Jenny Brooks all the way from Ramsbottom in Lancashire. Right, yeah. Lovely to have you. Good looking couple though, I say. A bit like Steve Martin, isn't he, eh? Oh, Do you think so, so, ladies? Do you look a bit like <laughs> Steve Martin? <laughs> Yeah, he's got that look at it, that lovely silver hair. At least he's got all his own hair, love, I tell you. There we are. So in 25 years of marriage, Derek has only successfully prepared one meal. Mm. Mind you, he went into the kitchen at 1.30 p.m. and came out at 8 p.m. Yes. What were you doing in there? Well, it was all pre preparation and so yeah. taking preparation. care and so Yeah, you just had a bit of the old fancy music on <laughs> well, there, yeah, you? A bottle of wine, yeah. And a bottle of wine, that's it. He <laughs> fell asleep in a sink, didn't he? <laughs> well, how, how about today? Do you feel confident about today? Today? Yes, I'm looking forward to it. Yeah, yes, going to do something nice, not only for your wife, but probably for your children too. Yes, yes. Yeah, that could be really well, exciting, couldn't it? I oh, bet you can't <laughs> wait to have a nibble, can you? Well, I'm <laughs> on to it. Oh, looking forward to it too. Okay, let's meet our second couple who want to play Can't Call Won't Call! Oh, yes, ladies and gentlemen. Please welcome Kay and Reg King from Crawley in West Sussex. How yep. you doing? All right, what? nice to see you, Reg. Now, <coughs> what, what about your wife here? Well, I mean, you've been married to her for what, what, 15 years now or something? Getting on that way. Yeah. She's just can't cook in the story. Yeah. yeah I can't cook for his style. And his turn out all right and yeah. mine don't. I don't know, I'll tell you what. I mean, does he just won't follow the recipe. She oh. always thinks that it's wrong. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I think there may be trouble ahead, don't you, ladies and gentlemen? Let's play Can't Cook, Won't Cook! <laughs> Okay. Oh, lovely Kay and Derek. That's okay. Come in, come in a little bit closer. Very nice style on the hat there. We like a bit of that any way you want it, Kay. Come a little bit closer because underneath my cloche here is something that I want you both to try and recreate today. Feast your eyes on this. Ooh. Oh, isn't that lovely? Now, I know you might be lurking back there. Now, one of the easiest dishes in the world to make is scones. And these are walnut scones. But the difference is I've got delightful caramelised apples in there. I'm going to make you a beautiful vanilla yoghurt cream. You can see that there. Just a really fresh vanilla going inside there that gives it a beautiful taste there. And just sauce there. How to dust and how to garnish. Does that appeal to you? Very much. Nice. Okay, what about you, Derek? Sounds very nice. Oh, it sounds very nice. It tastes wonderful too. So let's rattle those pots and pans! Okay, 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 okay. Well, one of the things we've got to do is we've got to start to make our kind of dough first. That's a bit of dough, that's what we're going to make up our scones. Look what Ainsley's doing. Wham, off there. The food processor, that's it. Take the lid off for me. All right then. That's okay. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Eight ounces here of self-raising flour. Hand out to the side like that. That's it. Now, a little bit of movement. Come on, let's get a bit of rhythm first. That's it. And then shake it in there. And when you're shaking it in, say, flower! Flower! That's it. Beautiful, 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 beautiful. We like a bit of that. Okay, here we've got a couple of ounces. That's it. 50 grams, if you like, of butter. Okay, so just stand there. Get your fingers like that. Have a look at that butter. Then get them in there like that. That's it. And dollop. Dollop. Dollop, that's okay, that's <laughs> it. We like to hear a good old dollop. Okay, so put that on there. There you go, make sure that's nicely locked. And as we put it on, I want you to get ready into Elvis Presley mode. I'm sure you remember Elvis. Oh, it's a little girl with a little big muscle. Make a mile flower go around and around. I want to see the breadcrumbs here and there. I said a ho, ho, ho. I said a ho, ho, ho. I said a ho, ho, ho. Oh, that's it. That's it. Switch it off now. Switch it off now. Notice, take off your lid. That's it. Look inside. Uh, we want to be talking about breadcrumbs. Can you see what I mean about that breadcrumb stage? Mm -hmm. Let's have a look. Absolutely lovely. That's beautiful. Is yours looking the same? Yep. That's okay. Off that comes. That's it. Just give that a little bit of a lift. Now be very careful when you do take it off because we've got a sharp blade inside. That blade is particularly sharp. You don't want to cut yourself. So just ease that out like that and pop that on the side. Okay? Then shake that into your glass bowl for me. A little bit of style there. That's it. Again. That's beautiful. We like a little bit of star. Okay, one ounce of 25 grams of sugar there. That's okay. And as you shake it in like this, I like it to be nice and sweet inside my scorny mixie. I like I it like to be nice and sweet in my scorny mixie. 
I like it to be sweetie in my scone mixy. Yeah, lovely, <laughs> lovely, 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 lovely. And of course, that's going to be followed by some walnuts. I've got here some walnuts. Right, here we go again. And some, go on, shake your nuts in there. Go on, Derek, give it a good shake. Go on, girl, get them in. That's it, shake them in those nuts. All right, that's beautiful. That's coming along there. There we are, nice wooden spoon there, just mixing that like that. There we go, give that a little bit of a mix. Isn't that lovely? And then gradually, make a little well in the middle. Make a little hole in the middle there. And then gradually, we're going to incorporate... That's it, my darling. We've got about a quarter... We've got a quarter pint of milk here. That's it. So we're just going to gradually mix it in till it gets to the right consistency. So we're just going to pour our milk. That's it. Get that in there. And then just start to mix like that. Really just start to mix around there. That's OK. Keep going. And all that lovely moisture, just bringing that together. And then gradually, get the spoon out of the way. Once you've mixed it for a bit, get that wooden spoon out the way and get your fingers in there. Really, that's it. And just let your fingers do the work now. You can feel it. Suddenly you become like a food processor. Okay, that's beautiful. There we are. I got rid of most of it. Hey, what's happened there, Del? Got rid of most of it. Hey, you like it nice and moist, didn't you? Yeah. Hey? Hey? That's very wet, isn't it? Hey? There we are. Add a little bit of flour and then you'll get back to the original stage. Just put your hands over there. Now here, that's if I take some... Now rub them, rub them to get all those bits off. Right. That's OK. There you go. That's OK, yes. That's all right. How's that? All right? All right, there. Take your, take your pastry out of your bowl. That's it. Now this is the time. I'm going to use a bit of flour. Look, there we are. Get a bit of flour on there. That's OK. And a little bit of kneading. That's OK. Just a little bit of kneading like that. That's beautiful. And then grab hold of your rolling pin. A little bit of flour on your rolling pin. Give that a good old rub. That's OK. That's beautiful. There you are. Roll that out. We don't want it too thin. So you want a nice, nice scone there. That's enough. You can see what we've done there. Look at that. That's perfect. You've got your cutters here. And cut away there. Let's make some scones now. Really cut in there. And as you're cutting them in there, say, oh, scrawny, scrawny, scrawny. And the idea is, you see, once you get all that, ladies and gentlemen, all you do is give that another squeeze again. We don't need that. That'll probably be enough. When you've got four or five, it'll be enough. You just give that another squeeze again. Pop that down there. Roll it out. Cut out there. And if there's any little bits left, don't worry. Shape them, flatten them, and put them into the oven. The children will love them. A little bit of dollop of jam and cream on top. You know, never throw anything like that away. They're always very useful. OK, we'll just pop that away there now. That's beautiful. Lovely, lovely, lovely. You've got some beautiful egg glaze here. OK, now pretend you're Van Gogh and Rembrandt. I'll be a Leonardo da Vinci. There we are. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. OK, that's lovely. OK, it's enough of that silliness. We like a bit of that, though, don't we? Just sprinkle a little bit of flour on the top there. OK, now you've also got your little white container here of sugar. If you'd like to pick that up for me. And, took it and just stand there, look, look, one tray out there, hold the tray out there like this. And you're like, you're an artist, you're a real artist now. This is your little... And just sprinkle a little bit of sugar on the top of each of your little scones there. Oh, lovely, lovely. A little bit of sugar on each one. That's OK, that's beautiful. Pouring white case of That's OK. Well done. All right, then, just pick those up. There we are. Pop them there. We are onto your tray. There they are, onto your tray. Doesn't matter, making sure there's a bit of a gap there. We're going to pop those into the oven. That's about gas mark seven, about 220. Really, you want quite a nice hot oven. Rise them up and get a lovely colour on top of them. OK, then. All right, my darling, turn round. Here we are. That's it. And give it a good old swagger. And let's walk to the oven now. Come on, really show that swagger. Come on, that's it. Shake that swagger. Open them up and slide it in your oven. There you go. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Very good indeed. Beautiful. Well done. That's lovely. All right, then. OK, now we're going to do some apples now. Beautiful caramelized apples. I want you to get your pan on there, so put your frying pan onto the front there. Light that up strangely. Whilst our pan's heating up, we're just going to let that heat up. We'll move on to our apples. You've got a peeler. Grab hold of your peeler. That's OK. Malachi. There we are. There's your peeler down there for me. That's OK. And let's do some peeling. Now look at that. Just running that down now. Running that all the way round. There you go. And the secret is to have a little bit of fun in the kitchen whilst you're doing this. That's OK. Can you see that? Is to try and keep that skin in one. There we are. We just roll that all the way around. Hmm? What's that? Uh, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Whatever, whatever you do. I'm just thinking of having a little bit. That's OK. Roll that round, down. Oh, lovely. Oh, lovely. I know. Oh, Mine's longer than yours, though, isn't it? <laughs> it is. 
<laughs> hey, how are you getting on there? Not very well. Yeah. Oh, lovely, lovely, lovely. It's coming. It's coming. There we are. Beautiful. Hey, look at that. That's a nice long one there, isn't it? Hey? Keep peeling away there. Right. Keep peeling away. That's OK. Into your second apple. That's OK. Doing a bit of peeling. So do you like to eat a bit of fruit then, Kay? Do you have lots of fruit in the house? Yes, yeah. yeah. What's your favourite? They're sitting down watching the TV. Do you sort of sit down and peel an apple? Or is it bananas? Or what, 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 do you, what no, type of thing? No, simple things like grapes. 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 <laughs> <I> don't <laughs> peel them. <laughs> you don't peel them. You don't have to do anything with them. All right, now look what you've got there. You've got the two beautiful apples and you've got one of these. These are really nice little simple things. You can buy this in your hardware shop. Some of the supermarkets are carrying them. The large branch of the supermarket is particularly good. And all you're doing is standing that on top like that and then hands to the side and ho! All the way down. Look at that. All the way down. You can see that. That bit comes out and you've got all those lovely separated apples. That's beautiful. What's your fingers there? Go on. Go on. Go on. Oh, sit down. Get that down there. That's beautiful. Get them out of the way then. That's okay. There we are. Okay, remember, we've got our pan on now. Now you can see that. Now what we're going to do, straight away, is you take your butter. Once again, you take that bit of butter and you pick it up. You go dollop into your pan. That pan's been on, so the butter will start to melt. Immediately, you take your sugar and you sprinkle your sugar in. There's your sugar all the way over there. That's okay. And that will start to caramelise. That's it. Get that in. Go on, get that in. Quick, quick, quick. Get it in. That's it. Get it in. It'll be lovely and caramelised. That's okay. Yeah, you're trying to cover up the black bits of the butter in there, weren't you, with the sugar? <laughs> there you go. That's okay, my darling. Look at that. As soon as you mix in, that's it. Use your wooden spoon if you want. Use your wooden spoon or spatula. Give that a good stir there. Incorporate that. That's it, really. Look at that. As soon as the sugar goes with the butter there, and there's no, got to be none of that burning or anything, right? Let's get your apples. Remember your apples now. You've cut up all those lovely apples. Pick your piece of apple up and just throw them in with your sugar. There it is. Now, be careful. Look at Ainsley. Throw them in like that. Don't do that. I don't want this to splash on you. This is sugar. It will burn. So nice and slowly and controlled. That's okay. There it is. All of those pieces of apple in there. That's okay. There we are. Give them a little bit of a stir. Ainsley likes to toss, but you can just stir them. That's it. Protect your cinnamon for me. That's it. Open that up there. Just a touch. That's it. That's it. That's it. Just a little bit of cinnamon going in there now. Look at that. Absolutely beautiful. All right, then. Now, this is the beautiful part of it. We're going to be doing a little bit of flambe work here now, so making sure that it's really hot. You can see that it's bubbling away, and in I go with my brandy there, and straight away. Look at that. There we are, ladies and gentlemen. Look at that beautiful <laughs> bit of flambe work. Oh, yes. Come on, Amy. That's okay. A bit more, a bit more brandy. That's it. Now shake the pan. There we go. Oh, yeah. Yes, indeed. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Here we are, Kay. Nancy's here with you now, my darling. Get that in there. That's okay. That's it. Keep pouring it in. Keep pouring it. Oh, straight away, Kay. Didn't mess about, did you? That's okay. Just a little bit. All right, then. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Very good indeed. There we are. Now look at that. It really is getting lovely and syrupy now. They're really cooking down. Nice caramelisation. Beautiful, beautiful. Now what we've got here is an orange. If you'd like to pick up your orange for me. So look what Angie's doing here. Halfway and then out. Halfway and then out. Halfway and then out. Halfway and then out. Look at that. All the way around there. Halfway and out. Halfway and out. Just a little bit of a flick. Just little bits there. All right. Now we're going to take our scones out and let them cool down a little bit. Now open the oven, there you go, those lovely sugared scones. Pulling those out, look at that, lovely, absolutely lovely. Now we're just going to take those off here. There we are, and you can use a pallet knife if you want and just pop them onto your board. Just the, the wire rack, I should say, just to let those cool down a touch. All right, now coming on, we're getting to the stage now. We're going to be start doing a little bit of garnish and stuff. But first, we've got a nice yogurty, yogurty uh, vanilla yogurt to make here. Can you catch this, my darling? One, two, three. Here we are. Catch. Whoa! <laughs> yes, indeed. Here we are. Up. Yo! Yes, indeed. And has got it. Oh, yes. There's nothing like a little bit of catch in the morning. Rip that open. Take that off. That's okay. Just take that little bit off there. That's okay. You're all right. Now what I want you to do is you've got a vanilla pod here. This is fresh vanilla. This is the original vanilla. None of your essence business. This is where the real taste comes from. Now I want you to hold that like that. Take your knife and just give that a look at that. You can see what I'm doing here, my darling. And you can do too, Derek. Take your knife. Give that a slit. That's okay. Then just roll it like slightly. Roll it like that. And then push your knife down and take all that lovely vanilla. That's the vanilla. Look at that. That is it there. There you go. Absolutely lovely, and we're just going to slide that inside our pot there. That's it, of Greek style yogurt. Give it a good old stir for me. That's okay. Hey? Where should it go? <laughs> I told you I put it in your yogurt. What are you putting in your apples for? <laughs> I got the 
Can I get out? You got all half the wood in there too. Oh dear, just stir it in, just stir it in. Oh look. Hey, oh look, what do you mean oh look? You've knackered your apples now. <laughs> Didn't you smell them burning, Kate? Oh, help, help. Let's have a look at yours then. Here, here. Let's have a look here. Mm. What's the problem? If it's burning, you switch it off. You don't. It's impossible. <laughs> Take your orange and give it a little slice like that. Can you see what I'm doing there, Kate? There it is, laying flat, my darling, so it doesn't wobble about. And to get that a few slices, that's about, not too much. Remember, you want to save those, keep the fingers well away there. Just three or four slices, and that will be a lovely garnish there. What are you cutting it that way for? <laughs> <laughs> oh, this way. <laughs> all right, all right. You're just as bad, Kay. What are you laughing at? Look. God, it looks like a door wedge. <laughs> All right, there we are. Kate, your apples are burning, love. Switch them off. <laughs> oh, it. oh, don't worry about it, love. Don't worry about it. You two are in for a really tasty experience. There you go. Nice caramelised apples. All right. OK, take your other half of the orange there. Hand out to the side there. That's OK. Make no difference to you lot anyway. But it's, uh, and just have a little bit of a squeeze. Come on, let me see the bud. Squeeze in that juice there. That's it. Give that a little bit of a squeeze. That's okay. You see, you don't want it in there now, doesn't it? It's spitting back at you. There we are. That's okay. Give that a little bit of a mix there so we create a little bit of a sauce. That's what we're after. Just a little bit of a sauce there. Really squeeze that in. That's beautiful. Grab your plate. Bring that into the centre there. Pop that into the centre. Okay. Pick up a couple of your scones. A couple of nice scones there. Whatever ones you fancy. There we are. I'm just going to chop the top of those off. Just, just literally grab hold of that scone and very easy just run them round like that. There we are. Remember you've got walnuts inside so you have to feel the knife go round it. Otherwise if you push it through you'll rip your scone. We don't want to do that. So nice and slow just sort of let that go round like that. There it is. There we are popping that down. Okay. There we are. Get some of your beautiful caramelised apples with some of that juice. Don't worry about the juice and let them ooze into that. Really just pile those up like that. Look at that. Just allowing those just to pile up. They're beautiful. They're caramelised. They're soft. They're oozy. They've got that lovely cognac -y flavour to them. That's it. Pile those up there. Pile that right up there. Really make that nice. There you go. <laughs> then you take a nice dollop of that there. Just ease that on the top there. Look at that. Absolutely lovely. Beautiful. Look at that. Quite delightful there. That's okay. And you've got a scone there that you just grab hold of your scone and split it in half like that. So you give it that little sort of butterfly effect there and just ease that in like that. Look at that. Oh, lovely. I just want to bite into that now. Beautiful. Just ease that in there like that. That's what we like. That's okay. We've got some orange now. Just pick up those orange segments and just pop those around the edge. That's okay. Use some of those lovely minty bits. And we've got a good dousing of icing sugar all over like that. There you go. That will just bring that alive quite beautifully. There we are all over there. Look at that. Just to finish that off there. That's very, very lovely. Look at that. Oh, beautiful. I think it's time to tickle those taste buds, didn't you? Or torture those taste buds, yeah. OK, Jenny and Red, bring in those culinary disasters. Come on. Let's have a little bit of a look at that. Yeah, pop them down there. Oh, dear, dear, dear. What do you think then, Jen? Um, well, at least it's standing up right. It's moment. standing up right, you know. I mean, the garnish, I think both are both pure garnish there, but the truth pretty is in the effort. taste, isn't it? Mm, so, so yeah, pop on that blindfold there, my darling. And what about you, Reg? What do you think of Kay's efforts here? Not bad, except... Is that tar there, there? Mm, yeah, it is, mate. <laughs> it is. It doesn't surprise me. It looks it's like it, though, doesn't yeah. it, eh? Oh, well, it, it might taste, it, it might taste, taste all right. Yeah, so might pop on that blindfold no. then. All right, then, no peaky book in there. Everybody's all right. Angie's just going to do a little bit of a... I think we'll do a little bit of a, just a cutting session there. There we are. A little bit of that and a little bit more. They, that's OK. That's beautiful. OK, this is the first one. I think I'll come to you first then. Here we are, Reg. Open up nice and wide. 
There we are, beautiful. All oh, that went in very handsomely. Very nice red, very nice. There we are, and uh, coming across there, here we are now. Here we are, my darling. That's it. Jenny, open up there, and in that goes Jen. Oh, very nice, Jen. Well done. Well done. That's lovely. Um, okay, Reg, coming out here. Out. This is number two now, Reg. Just coming across here. That's okay. A little bit of that lovely sauce. Open up wide for me, and in that goes. There you go, Reg. That's beautiful. And coming over to you again, Jen. Here we are. Let's get in there. Get a nice bit of... Oh, hold on, my darling. A bit of walnut there with that. That's lovely. I can get hold of that. Here we are. Open up nice and wide, and in that goes. That's beautiful. Okay, then. You've done that very, very well indeed, because I wouldn't try it, I'll tell you. <laughs> now, take, take, <laughs> take the blindfolds off. Now, Reg, tell me, was it number one or number two that... Yeah, your taste buds. It was number two. Number two yeah. was the better one for you, That's definitely. Nice. Why was that then? Because number one had that slight burnt taste. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> You get to know your wife quite yeah. well on this show, didn't you? Yeah, now what about you, Jen? Was it number one or number two? Um, I think number one. Number one? Mm -hmm. Right. Why was that then? The apple was not quite as sweet as on number two. Ah, the apple was not quite as sweet. You didn't taste the burnt bit of stuff, did you, Jen? Well, the both taste you, a bit burnt. You, 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 you chose K's, so I suppose... Uh... <laughs> Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. <laughs> At oh. least you made him taste them. Thanks, Dad. How could you like that, Kay? How could you like that? And rub him! Take a look! Oh, a food processor! Oh, now, how about that then, eh? Oh, I tell you what, mm, <laughs> there you go. You see, Jen? I, well, I don't know what happened there, Jen. I mean, well, you like that kind of taste, didn't well, you? At least we forced you into it, didn't we? No, I know you did. You forced me into it. And I, couldn't, I couldn't help that, though. I had to get rid of that. Derek, well done. You've proved that you're going to at least make some decent scones, so you've got That's the good. food processor. Start there. You know, do a bit of cooking for your family. Well it done. might be the best thing that you've ever learned well to do. Done. God bless you. Thanks very much for coming Thanks. along. Thanks, Jim. Yeah, give a round of applause. Come on. Oh, yeah. Now. <laughs> now, what can I say? Hey, Kay. <laughs> Oh, I'm sorry I had to spit that out, darling, but it just didn't... Uh, you know, sometimes... <laughs> do you know, sometimes you take things and the tongue just goes... Do you know that feeling? Did you yeah, have a bit of that bread? You had that feeling. Yeah. And you had to eat it, didn't you? Yeah. You had to swallow it. I weren't going to swallow it. But tell you what, here's something to wash away the sorrows. A lovely bottle of champagne there and something for you both to go out and have a nice lap-up meal. Really do enjoy it. Thanks very much thank indeed, Reg, and thanks so much, Kate. Thank you. God bless. Thanks a lot. God bless you. Hey, that's all we've got time for today. Don't you go quick. But join us soon for more fun in the kitchen right here. Where? Can't cook, won't cook. Bye-bye. Plenty of good advice next on BBC One. The really useful show is next.